Well, hello again, everybody. Um, thought I'd upload. I haven't made a video in a while. Thought I'd let you in on what I've been up to. So I'm taking these 18650 batteries. I've made my setup here. And uh, my positive rail, my negative rail. Um, these are my dischargers. Um, so that way I can discharge them. And uh, this is my power supply that I'm using. This is a uh, power supply out of an Xbox. All right, then I went ahead and put a switch here so I can shut it on and off uh, when need be. Um, got my standby light, my power on light, and um, this is my 12 volt rail. Keep the fan going so I don't have excessive heat. And um, I can't stress enough that uh, if you're going to build a battery pack, you definitely need to make sure that you discharge, you charge them up after you take them out of the battery packs. Um, charge them, discharge them, get their capacity. Like a, this is my box that I've already done that has all the capacity on them, so that way I know. Um, and so then, if you don't do that, all it takes is one, just just one of these all right to go bad I had built one big battery pack um, that was this big it was 80 cells and it was the other side of this pack right here but there was one bad cell because I was anxious to build it just one and it had ruined all of these and partially those so I ruined all those by neglecting to discharge and um, get its capacity um, so that's that this right here is just a small little portable charger that I had made um, to charge our tablets and whatnot so this right here is a 2 amp um, charger and what it does is it, it um, it's a boost converter to boost um, anything from uh, 3 volts, 2.5 volts, it'll boost it up to a USB 2 amp charger. And uh, so is what I did is I used one of these chips right here, which is on this end of the, the board. And uh, it's inside of here. As you can tell, it's in there. So then I have a small mini U, uh, a USB to charge it if I need be or I can hook up this right here which is for a laptop charger but I can hook it up to a um, at least a, a two, an, a two, two volt solar panel and uh, it can uh, it's a boost converter as well and it can uh, connect to this and charge it. And another thing that I've been doing, just so you guys know, I've been building my own solar panels. I'm using monocrystalline sun power um, solar cells. These are very nice. Um, they resist the cracking and the heat that normal solar cells use. I'm using the quick silicone capsulant, quick sil. Um, it's a two-part process. I'll make a video of this later on of me building the panel. I already have one up. And so I'm just giving you guys an update. I'm going to build this battery pack. It'll be um, 480 cells. So it'll be um, 320 batteries. Um, and I've already found uh, the PCB boards um, at 80 amps, 24 volts. Um, and I'm going to need four of those, so I should be able to pull 320 amps out of the battery pack. Uh, not that I'll be able to have to pull that much, but that's what it is. I'm going to try to keep this video short. Um, another thing I went ahead and did was um, I'm working on my solar setup. So I got two 12-volt two, two, uh, batteries running at 24 volts. Uh, I went ahead and got this power jack inverter. Um, it's working pretty good. Um, now, I only have one solar panel up top, which is uh, coming in from there. Um, here's my line that I've ran in for my uh, circuit. 
um, right now because I don't have a, a tap in here I had to put it onto a 20 amp plug um, it's on this one right now because it's directly into another line of the house uh, simply because my batteries are not charged um, I have to charge them uh, it takes a little bit of time because I'm only charging at 5 amps um, right now it's 13 volts and I need to get me an MPPT charger I'm working on everything one step at a time everybody but this one circuit right here um, the way this house was set up um, every plug in every room and all the lights were ran on one circuit so I really lucked out with this house um, I can pull this off it'll run all the TVs and all the bedrooms all the lights um, and so I lucked out it was on a 20 amp circuit and then I'll show you guys the panel that I had built and I'll end this video but here it comes this is the panel the first panel that I built 32 cells and uh, it puts out 5 amps but this was the first panel that I had built turned out pretty good and um, so I encapsulated it and then I used the uh, silicone for the back of it and I went ahead and put the uh, the connectors in for it but this panel has been doing me pretty good I've had it up here for about a month and a half now and um, I need to start building me some more of them um, to get this circuit off of the grid that I've been showing you guys I estimate about six panels and uh, six deep cell batteries should hold off my uh, energy uses for this circuit alone um, but I hope you all enjoyed if you have any questions please post it's been a while since I've uploaded a video sorry I've been off track with the Gerard morning pump everybody um, I've been a little detoured so uh, once again um, I was just giving you guys an update on uh, what I've been doing and uh, I'm planning on building a solar cell pack so, um, for these everybody's using them as um, the battery packs for the cars and for your e-bikes but um, my theory is um, for this battery pack once I'm done building it um, I will have invested just over $150 and I'm estimating that um, the battery pack should have at least oh, 280 amp hours somewhere around there which is um, significantly better than the deep cell batteries that I have out there that are only at 110 amp hours each so uh, not only is the charge rate um, three times better because with lithium ions you get uh, between a thousand fifteen hundred charges uh, depending on how many times and how well you maintain them and uh, with a deep cell cycle battery you only get between five and eight hundred charges so once again that's that and then here's my theory on solar for everybody all right take a look at this and this is my theory um, you guys can be critics but for solar let's be fair not that it would cost this much let's just say a solar array for between fifteen thousand to twenty five thousand dollars and that would last you for about twenty five to thirty years with minimum maintenance making sure your batteries are maintained you know educate yourself a little bit about that um, save yourself some money so let's go to an electric company average household again let's be fair two hundred dollars a month now I know most of you have a higher bill but let's just say two hundred dollars in twelve months equals twenty four hundred dollars after 10 years you're looking at twenty four thousand dollars but you still have 15 more years of service left on solar so thirty six thousand dollars profit if you went solar um, if you have kids it's a nice college fund or if you need a car or you have investments um, maybe you need a down payment on a house etc and this doesn't just go for solar everybody when you go to buy your appliances whether it be a smart TV whether it would be a refrigerator make sure that they have energy saving abilities okay because whenever you start investing into alternative energies 
You're going to need eco modes on everything. Um, dishwashers, refrigerators. We went to HH Gregg and got a great deal on all the appliances. So everything now, watch out honey. Watch out mamas. Everything now has our good old eco settings, eco plus. Then we have eco dry. So everything now, uh, as far as our appliances, are ready for the solar system and set up. They uh, use uh, minimum amperage to start. And that also goes for your AC units. Um, you have to look at your SEER ratings for your AC units. And um, the higher your SEER rating, the better they are. Um, your new um, AC units with taco pumps, um, your, your, your initial investment when you go to a store, um, let's just say uh, you see a $200 washing machine. All right? And uh, let's just say you see another one for $1,500. Now that $200 one looks pretty nice initially, but um, I want you to look at it over a 10 year energy usage and tell me which one's gonna cost you more. Um, now that $1,200 one's gonna cost you significantly less simply because of the consumption of energy and the parts that it uses inside the run. So uh, with all this said, I hope you all have a good one. God bless. And uh, see you on the next run. If you have any questions, please post. I'll try to get to them. Have a great day.